much. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for everything that you do every single day to make Oregon a better place for all of our families. I'm sure you're all wondering why I'm running for governor. I got into public service because I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. And I went to law school because I wanted the tools to achieve justice and equality in this world. But my lessons post-law school were personal ones. I learned what it was like to be paid less, substantially less, than the male attorney in the office next door. I also learned what it was like to be in a relationship with a woman and being afraid of losing my job. No one in Oregon should face that level of fear and discrimination. So, when I got a call to do something about it, to be an advocate at the Oregon legislature, I jumped at the opportunity. And I had the incredible opportunity to work with a coalition of advocates, folks from OEA and OSCA and FTE, AFT, and we worked together to pass a little bill that enabled parents to stay home with their sick children and not lose their jobs. And when Governor Barbara Roberts signed that bill into law, Oregon became one of the first states in the nation to have family medical leave. And I realized I could make a difference. I could make Oregon a better place for all of our families. So when I got a call from Shirley Gold to see if I was interested in be serving in the legislature, I said yes, because I knew it was the best way to move our working families agenda forward. And that was the easy part. The appointment was the easy part. The harder part was I had to little battle in that Southeast Portland district for my house seat. And I won that race. I won that race by seven votes. And I will tell you that 20 years later, I still have people come up to me in the street and they say, well, they now call me governor. Governor Brown, I was your seventh vote. I was the reason that you won. And you know what? Everyone who voted for me was the reason that I won. For me, it was a wake up call that your vote is your voice and every single voice matters. Following that, I had the incredible opportunity to serve 17 years in the Oregon legislature and six years as your Secretary of State. And now in Oregon, everyone knows that the Secretary of State is the Lieutenant Governor. Because in February of last year, I got another call. I was being sworn in as your 38th Governor. And I have been so proud of Oregon and so proud of my fellow Oregonians despite incredible challenges over the last 18 months. Worst wildfire season last year, horrible tragedy at UCC, bizarre occupation at the Malheur Wildlife Refuge. I have been so proud because we've been able to keep Oregon moving forward. We passed paid sick leave. So families could stay home with their sick kids and not worry about how they pay their rent. We increased the minimum wage because we believe no one working full time in this state should be living in poverty. And we passed 15 an hour. We'll get there. We'll get there. Somebody said 15 an hour. We'll get there. And we passed retirement security so families could save for their retirement. But there is still much more to be done, and that's why I need your help and support this November. We must open the doors of opportunity for every single Oregon family. That means passing paid family leave. That means making sure that kids can stay home with daycare is affordable and accessible. That means putting folks to work by investing in a transportation package so that workers can get to their jobs safely and that products can get to market effectively and efficiently. And that means passing ballot measure 97. We must sustain our investments in education and creating a seamless system of education from cradle to career to improve educational outcomes for all of our kids because education is like an elevator. It enables us all to rise. So I need your help and your support to win in this November. We must work together to make sure that we maintain and expand our progressive majorities in the House and the Senate. Are were you willing to roll up your sleeves and go to work with me? I can't hear you! Are you willing to roll up your sleeves and get to work and elect progressive 
majorities in the House and the Senate. Are you willing to work to make sure that we 